Nick is back with tons more heat. Let's hop in the Subi, you can take the front seat with a mic in my hand and a cam by my side. I'm bringing you updates, no need to hide. Repping the merch, the brand in bold. Beanies to keep you cozy and the jackets for the cold. Sipping from a mug, big bear style. Funny designs that will make you smile. Gifts for the kids, your dad and your mom. Check it out at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. What's cracking, everybody? April 13th, 2024, 1121 p.m. This is the heaviest part of the entire system, even including tomorrow's snow that's coming through right now. So I timed it for 20 minutes from now is the absolute heaviest part that should be coming across the dam in 20 minutes. And we're going to go around the lake to try to be in the snowiest part of town. For the snowiest part of the storm in this snowy part of April. So yeah, hope you guys can tell it's snowy as heck. And how is everybody this beautiful evening? It's great to have you all here with me. Hope you're enjoying everything. Uh, yeah, my mind's everywhere right now, but uh, don't forget if you guys want to help support the channel, help support your boy over here, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com, get, get you some merch, wear it with pride know that you're supporting someone who worked his ass off to build this channel to how small it still is today but and then also the ski resorts are about to close so we have uh, Bear Mountain closing this weekend Snow Valley closing this weekend and Snow Summit apparently is gonna try to stay open until the 30th I really don't see that happening but they know better because that's what they do so We'll see but the whole point is if you still want to try and come up and go skiing and you need to rent your skis and snowboards get your butts up here and go to get boards on big bear boulevard they have two shops one block and two blocks away from the village and one of the shops is a ski shop and the other one is a snowboard shop so go get your skis if you mention that i sent you or you're a friend of the channel they'll take care of you guys they're really good people over there the owner tony is amazing the staff is incredible and uh, if you bring in your own equipment, they will wax it free of charge if you mention that you're a friend of the channel as well. So now we're on Stanfield Cutoff. There's a car right on my butt. I think it might be a police officer. But I'm not doing anything. Well, actually, I'm speeding right now. Jeez Louise. I'm going five miles an hour over the speed limit. But I'm just so excited about the storm. Again, some some weather sites are talking about maybe up to seven inches of snow. I'm still predicting one inch of snow if we are lucky. I don't know what you guys are thinking. That definitely was not a cop. He was a schmuck. <laughs> the way he was driving, crazy. But then again, I was driving like a schmuck too. Schmitty to schmick. What is going on up here? So we're on North Shore. What is going on right here? Looks like they have this road closed off or something. I don't get it. It says road closed. Why is it closed? I've never seen this before. That is so lame. That is so lame. You know what? Usually, I guess, if something like that happens, I sure hope it's not due to a really horrible accident because that's all I can think of on why that situation would be like it is. So we're gonna go to the dam, the John Claude Van Dam this way and then make a U at the dam and come back hopefully as I said no one's injured again I don't know why they would have it closed but this town doesn't ever cease to amaze me with some of the things they do the timing they do it So 
something I used to get really frustrated about up here is in the summertime when they do lots of road work and different types of uh, construction, like down the mountain, you would see a lot of this stuff being done in the middle of the night and, and they'd bring these big spotlights so the workers can see and get their work done. But here it's like they do it during the busiest times when people are trying to get to work and um, especially up and down the mountain too. They'll have so many little jobs that they're doing up and down the mountain that cause so much traffic when they could do it, as far as I'm concerned, just like they do down the mountain in the middle of the night to avoid uh, being a pain in the butt for us. But at, at the same time, I don't know their job, so I'm just complaining a little bit because I used to get so frustrated. That's really, really coming down. This is beautiful. According to my temperature gauge, it looks like we're at 33 degrees. This side are not so bad compared to over there going the other direction. There's a couple over here, but it's not nearly as bad. This side over here is there's some really wrecked spots. Um, severe damage causing potholes. So just be very cautious. Be paying attention the whole time.
should be when we exit the village, when we're entering the snowiest part of town, it should be the snowiest part of the storm. I was really, really looking hard on, on the radar because it fluctuates like every five minutes. And this one little part seemed pretty consistent before I hit town. And of course, it's going to be the heaviest over in the snowiest part of town, so that's where we are headed. We are starting to see some accumulation here. Cars are starting to turn white. Everything's starting to turn a little bit. Not everything, but starting to turn white around here a bit. hiking this summer not necessarily like for like videos and stuff but for my health but of course because I'm so lazy anytime I do get out there I'm gonna make sure that I am uh, recording it for you guys look even the ground starting to turn white over here Boulder Bay Park. Maybe at the dam, the ground will be totally white. We'll see. This part of town has some pretty rough 
left potholes, mostly on that side, but you still got to be very careful because some of them are so big they'll encroach on this side. But yeah, look, we're starting to get a lot more white over here, baby. Stop. Collaborate and listen. Nick is back with a brand new invention. Driving on Highway 18. Gonna find the snow and I'm gonna be clean. <laughs> oh, there's a big pothole. Oh, oh, oh. Damn you, pothole. You just jumped up there and bit me right in the butt. You bit me right in the butt. It's gonna get pretty slick over here. We are exactly at freezing right now at 32. This little layer of snow is gonna be like oil. So I have to be super careful. When it's deeper, it's easier to drive on, as far as I'm concerned. slick it is and I started sliding across the road that's not 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 ever good you want to be in as much control as possible and usually I'm pretty good at this I don't think there's anybody not even the snowplow guys actually unless they've been doing the job for nine years just like I've been doing my YouTube channel, then I've definitely been on these roads in these conditions more than anybody else around here. No question about it. If I was ever to be a snowplow operator up here, man, we'd have so many more videos. Not that we need more, because I already do way too many.
this little part of the little arctic circle over here gets freaking hammered. again before this three year period I don't know if I'm going to be able to do these videos guys it's going to be too risky I'll have to walk I'm, I'm down to do that Monday I'm switching out my snow tires for my brand new regular tires. I already ordered them and uh, they're going to put them on Monday. I think these snow tires have another season or maybe two remaining, so that's good. I think we'll have enough to get home and then 
tomorrow morning to go fill up before I do the next video. This is most likely going to be the last one of the night. Okay, here's a huge pothole area right here. Uh, we avoided that like a champ right there. That's the biggest one over here. It takes up the whole lane. And then I'll show you guys the other huge one. This one coming up in about a mile, maybe a little bit more than that, is the biggest one. I'll, I'll tell you where it is right now. So when you're coming up to uh, Mill Creek, which is a road, when you're coming up to Mill Creek Road, it's just past Mill Creek in this lane right here. You want to get over like this far to avoid it. But it's in this lane. And Mill Creek is right before you would turn into the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. That sledding area that has the roller coaster and whatnot. It's right there. So just, I'll show you guys. If there's no one behind us, I'll stop real quick just, just so we can see it. I'll hop out real quick. Cause it's really bad. that thing is so deep and it is so big and brutal and it takes up most of the lane. So hang on, let me get my, uh, my seatbelt back on here. We'll get the 
like make like a make like the birds and get the flock out of here go around this bad boy like I always do again through the camera it didn't look that bad but it's really bad especially if you hit it at any type of a speed you're, you're gonna be in trouble here's the alpine slide at magic mountain area so yeah just, just be careful y'all when you guys come up here I want you to have a good time I don't want you to have to pay for vehicle damage and stuff like that that's just no fun That's the way you'll ruin your vacation immediately, is having to deal with that stuff. All right, well, we made it. Thank you guys for cruising. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed all that really, really heavy snow, especially at the... Uh, or, or good moderate snow not like super heavy but it was definitely the heaviest part of the storm hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe share these videos help me out almost have 3600 videos over nine years uh, let's keep kicking butt and taking names together thank you everybody and we will chat a little bit later peace out from big bear lake california